Messonomics. I've been catching a lot of flack lately, hearing a lot of people asking questions like, what makes you such an expert on the field of massonomics? Why do you think you're a professional in the field of massonomics? Are you some sort of massonomics genius? What do you know about massonomics that I don't know about massonomics? And to prove that I'm not just some sort of massonomics hypocrite, uh, I brought something today. It is a degree. And what is that degree in, you're wondering? Well, I'll show you. There's the picture of the school, but over on this side, you can see University of South Dakota, Master of, what does that say? Right there? Massonomics. There you have it. Tanner Baird. That looks pretty professional to me. I think that's all the proof everyone needs. Well, now that everyone's well aware that I have the credentials to be producing these uh, training videos, we'll go ahead and get started with another day at the gym. I was working on dynamic squats today using the bands, uh, the purple uh, road fitness bands here. And I was kind of struggling all day to get them in the right position on the rack to get them tight enough throughout the bottom half of my lift here. You can see when I go down, they're a little too loose. I had 185 on here. I end up increasing the weight as I go until I get something that feels about appropriate. And if you listen carefully, you can uh, hear that I get the pleasure of getting pumped to Too Shy by Kajigulu. <laughs> Here I bumped it up to 205, still got the band in the same position. It's really not working how I want it to. There's no tension whatsoever on the bottom half of the rep. And that is not ideal and not what I'm shooting for uh, aside from that. Every rep going for speed. Uh, going for maintaining form as I squat down there, low parallel, Big Larry wrecks my camera shot, my day is ruined. Well, it's a deal. <laughs> up to 225 I felt comfortable at those other weights I still get the speed I wanted so I'm really still trying to feel out this dynamic thing and get uh, get the right weights down so I tried 225 on this one still got the bands too loose nothing's changed there another thing I've been concentrating more on is my setup uh, getting that bar centered on my back getting as tight as possible before I unrack uh, getting in a pretty good low bar squat position. I got myself a new pair of shorty shorts and I'll let you listen in on the conversation here as I brag about them. Can you see my new uh, squat shorts? Where do you get those at? I bought these at Donald's, they're like 20 bucks. Oh, really? Are they the dry fit ones? Is that what they're like nothing too well, yeah. And they're really short. So it's apparent that I'm really proud of my new shorts, but back to the squatting. I got the bands adjusted a little bit, if you can notice a difference. Uh, I looped them back underneath the pegs there, tighten them up a little bit. You can see as I go down, I, you know, it's, it's, it's still loose at the bottom though, which I want to get away from it if all possible. Now on the positive movement of this squat, uh, obviously it's dynamic, so I'm trying to go as fast as possible, but I'm curious how people interpret the, the negative or the downward portion on a dynamic lift, whether that should be done with the equal levels of speed or more of a slow control there, and I'd appreciate some comments from anyone that has an opinion on that. Yeah. I'll just kind of shut up on this one and let you enjoy some more 1980s YMCA jams. <laughs> Oh, 
Same with my upper body, really. Yeah. Like, I don't want to train too hard. <laughs> it's been known to act. People have been known to act. Right, because getting too big on accident just happens to people or to anyone ever. Hit some deadlifts after the squats today. Uh, I was really just trying to do maybe one or two heavy singles and see where I'm at currently. Uh, here I had four plates, just do a few reps, kind of setting up my form. Uh, I'd been, today I was really intentionally sitting my butt down a little bit further than I have been in the past. I watched a few other people do that and it, it seems to help. These felt pretty good. That's some amassonomics at its finest. Yeah, 545 on that deadlift. I was happy I got that. Uh, the rep sucked. It was a horrifically slow pull uh, with a terrible hitch. Two pretty strong negatives, but one big positive. It went up. So that's still a win. It's a moral victory, if absolutely nothing else. On the squatting, uh, of note there, I was working on getting those bands set right like I was talking about, like I was blabbing about to you while you're watching. Eh, I'm struggling with that. I might need to use some different bands there, something that keeps more attention throughout the whole rep. That would be ideal. Uh, things I was thinking about for the squat today, pushing my knees out when I'm ascending. It's a big thing I'm working out. Push my butt back, throwing my head back when I start pushing up, and starting off in that tight position, centering the bar on my back, keeping it as tight as possible, and working on a low bar position. But it uh, hurts like hell on my shoulders doing that, but I think it's worth it. Oh, the, rest, the rest of the squat feels good when I get in a good tight low bar position. On the deadlifts, the things that I was focusing on were dipping my butt down a little bit lower at the start of the deadlift. I felt like I, at looking at some tape from last week, I felt like I was too erect. That's what she said. On the deadlifts, historically, my sticking point had more so been the, the bottom of the rep off the ground, so I'd been hitting deficit deadlifts pretty heavy, uh, especially on speed work. Because that's improved, now my weak point has maybe even more shifted to uh, the lockout portion of the rep. So once I get to about my knees, I could see that I was awfully weak there on that 545 rep. So what I need to do there, I believe, is some variation of box pulls or rack pulls if I have to. I prefer to do box pulls if I can set that up somehow in the gyms that I get to work with. Other than that, uh, let me take this hat off. I'm wearing a hat. It's like my Mary has the thermostat at like 80 degrees in here. It seems expensive. Um, thank you for watching today. Please rewatch it. I want to get my view count up and subscribe. I think I currently have. 19 subscribers, but I was at 12 before to 19. That's almost seven more. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, and share it on Facebook. If you're into the Facebook, or tweet it on the Twitters. If you can do that with YouTube, I don't even know. And remember kids, it's science, it's massonomics.